today we got john on the call john is a youtuber he's also on my team and john really specializes in speaking and as you guys may have noticed you know i, I definitely need to work on my voice and we were just talking yesterday john right where uh, you notice that i speak a lot for my throat which is definitely true because every day almost like after speaking i have like my throat kind of hurts a little bit and uh, so today what uh, what we're trying to accomplish is john is going to teach me based on his experience he's going to teach me how i can use more of my diaphragm is that right john yes uh, we're going to specifically tackle how to speak better during your business zoom calls yeah and by the way guys we just made a video on this channel about how to look more professional on zoom now now that you got the look your camera lighting microphone set up how do you now work on your your voice because as they say most of your communication is not even what you say but how you say it especially in the business world you got to sound professional you got to sound certain and it's the same thing with youtube if you're going to make content and if you want to succeed on youtube you got to make sure that you have a very clear certain and confident voice other flip side of the coin is people often emphasize the looks uh, yeah the body language stand up straight etc but in today's society, especially nowadays, there's quarantine, pandemic, you can't really meet in people face to face all the time. You can't really maximize the body language, but what you can maximize during your Zoom calls, business calls, is your voice. Have in mind that this is not just for Anad himself. We're gonna tackle the voice also, but specifically, why do you need to do this? We're gonna also gonna handle the reasons why you need this. So, Coming up for you are these three things that you're going to learn at the end of the video. So stay tuned. X is your main ammunition, the power of blank, blank in your free time. So, okay. That's uh, it's a good is, hook right here, right here. Yep. Uh, this sounds kind of, this is not what you think it is, but it's going to help you. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Who is our guest today? Yeah. Let me flesh out who he is. So today we have Anand. So he's the owner and co-founder of VidGrowth. So specializes in YouTube strategy, viral video editing, video SEO, video ads, VSL or video sales letters, content repurposing, the whole nine yards. If you want to grow online, check it out, VidGrowth. And He's not just good at that. He gives you not only services, but also results. So from what you see, he has grown channels from under 100 subscribers to 400 to 1,000 subs. There's some testimonials. And fortunately, he's giving you free a free consultation calls. The link is going to be in the description. The total value of that is $250. But for a limited time, he's doing it for free. I I'm asking myself why he's doing it. I mean, it's just, it's going to consume his time. But at the moment, he's doing it for free. So take advantage of that. Now let's proceed to the training. So why, why learn this skill? Specifically, the skill of how to speak better in business Zoom calls. Like why? Why can't I just tell Anand to just wing it? Just... Focus on the background. Yeah, he has the great Blue Yeti mic, professional mic. He has some. He also has a green screen, mm. and he, he also has some suits. Now he, he didn't wear the suit because just for the sake of the exercises that we're gonna do, it's gonna help him move better if he didn't wear the suit, just like I am wearing right now. So why? I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why you need to focus on learning this skill. Mm. Well, first of all, you will feel confident during your calls. How many times have you done some Zoom calls and you were there? Yeah, you look professional. There's a great background. You were on time. But when you speak, when you spoke during that Zoom call, you felt weak. You felt maybe it, they're not going to listen or take me seriously. So by learning this skill, specifically how to speak better during your Zoom calls, 
you're gonna unlock that confidence that you really crave for. Maybe you don't want to sound confident, but it's the only way to sell stuff, to give your point across, get your point across to who you're talking. So it's very important to be confident during your course. Another reason on why you need to learn this skill is you won't be taken advantage of. How many times have you spoke to someone and you were honest, you look professional, etc. But when you spoke, it seems like you felt like the other person on the other end is like taking advantage of you. Maybe your voice sounded weak and he said, and maybe he's thinking, aha, uh -huh, I can take advantage of this guy. He looked, he sounds very weak. Maybe I can get a discount. Hmm. Maybe I can get more stuff from him than I give him, than I pay him. Hmm. So by learning this skill, you won't be taking advantage because the next time, once you optimize this skill, which is going to take some time to be honest, but once you optimize it, people won't take advantage of you. Another thing is you will be seen as an authority. How many times have you went to a store, you wanted to buy stuff? For example, for me, I needed a new computer because my other laptop broke down. So I was searching for the right computer, which can do video editing, which can handle Zoom calls while doing what other applications are turned on. Like what I needed the computer. So I asked the sales lady. At first I thought uh, she looked professional, etc. And I asked like blah, blah, blah. I asked what computer can I get for a reasonable price? And what happened is she didn't know what the hell she was saying. So she was unsure of it. So I, I didn't want to buy, like, I'm not going to buy from a sales lady that tells me like, maybe you need this, maybe there was uncertainty. There was no authority. So I went to the manager and, and he knew what the hell computers were needed. He knew how to fix my needs. And even though the other girl had some ideas, she didn't sound confident. She didn't sound authoritative in the sense not to dominate somebody, but to look like the expert. So by learning this skill, you will be seen as an authority. You'll be confident during your calls. You won't be taken advantage of because you'll sound professional and authoritative. And once you have those two things, you will be able to sell anything. And please do it in an ethical way. Don't sell something that you cannot provide. Fortunately, I've been uh, with uh, Anad for six months and I have seen that he's selling. He put where his money and uh, he put his money where his mouth is. You're going to pay the service and he's going to provide it. So the other thing that we need to focus on. So that's why he has the professional setup. He delivers the services. There's, there's one thing that's holding him back. This one thing which can be easily, which can be easily changed, but it takes time. And that is the voice how he speaks. So have in mind this quote, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. Benjamin Franklin. I'm telling you this because this is not just for Anand, this is also for you. You need to do the exercises. You need to get involved with this video, with the exercise. So involve, involve yourself by applying what you learn. Uh, this is not only for Anad, it's also for you. So involve yourself by applying what you learn in this video. So tip number one, let's go straight at it. Air is your main ammunition. Yeah, I know. You may think that you just need to open your mouth and words gonna come out and you want to sound authoritative and stuff, but there's an ammunition. There's the thing that you need before you can able to speak properly. Mm -hmm. Like this is a metaphor you can see. There's a powerful gun. I don't know if you play Call of Duty, but I used to play a lot of it. It's a, it's a first person shooter. And in order to take down the enemies, in order to win, you need to shoot them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they, not, not literally, but in the game. So <laughs> don't demonetize this because I'm showing some some firearms. Some violence. So, yeah, some violence. But remember, when you speak, remember 
to always inhale. So, so Anna, just to get you involved, like mm -hmm. try to speak without breathing. Like exhale everything that you have right now in, in your chest. Exhale. <sighs> Then try to hold out without inhaling again. So exhale again. Okay. Try speaking without inhaling. Hey, John. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Yeah. As you can see, it's very difficult. Yeah. Like uh, the thing that I used to stick with in the sense my sticking point was I had a lot of ideas. Like my brain works very fast. It can it can foresee stuff like I can calculate stuff fast. But as you can see, it, 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 I can't communicate properly what I have in mind, even though you have the great ideas, even though you have the best strategy in the world, nobody's going to listen to you, unfortunately, because you can't say it properly. And the first step to say anything properly is to breathe. So let's do the exercise. Let's breathe in for five seconds from your nose. Okay, then let it go from your mouth. Okay, breathe in again, five seconds. Breathe it out from your mouth. Okay, now let's do it again. Inhale only for three seconds, then exhale as if you were blowing a bubble like this. As slowly as you can, as long as you can. Okay. So inhale for two seconds. Hold the breath. Then imagine you're blowing a balloon, but blow it slowly. And tell me, Anand, when you finish the breath, don't cheat, don't inhale while breathing out. Okay, how long were you able to to breathe out with just those two seconds? I think it was a good 15 seconds or so. Okay, that's great. When I started out, I could only breathe out for like six seconds, maybe because I was severely obese that time or or other stuff but i didn't have this control so for the most part you're in a great starting point 15 seconds so you might be asking why do we need to focus on the air yes it's your ammunition hmm. but with this exercise for example i do you, do you remember your power affirmations uh anand yeah i actually have it on i've had it written down on google keep because we did a vocal uh some vocal not exercises but more like more like confidence building affirmations with Amish the other day. Yeah, if, guys, if you want to check it out, there's going to be a card right here. Okay, or link in the description. It says, when I when I speak, heads turn in excitement. Okay, try to speak. I uh, try to say this with, without the air, like exhale it, exhale it all and try to say it. When I speak, heads turn in excitement. Okay, as you can see, it's very hard. So this is a practical example. It's very hard to speak without air. So now try to breathe in for like three seconds. Okay, and try to first do the bubble exercise. Just for five, six seconds. Okay, now try to inhale again, three seconds. And try to speak out while exhaling, just like with the balloon now, but now you're talking and do your affirmation. When I speak, head stone in excitement. How did you feel? Did you feel different? Yeah, very different. Because usually when I speak, I feel it with my throat, but this time I didn't feel it. Yeah, for you guys who don't know what, uh, what neck voice, like for example, this is my neck voice. Normally, like my default setting is like this. When I think fast, I, I use the neck voice, but, but when I need to communicate, I need to use the chest. Then if, there's there's something very important that i need to then i that i need to tell then i use the diaphragm like there's a different difference i don't know if you can hear it this is the diaphragm this is a chest voice and this is the neck voice like this is my default like like if you think you're born with the neck voice yes you're born with it but not only it so just remember that so john uh, i think the the neck voice it sounds kind of like the godfather I mean, it kind of reminds me of that. Yes, uh, I'm not. Uh, we're not trying to ostracize the neck voice. It has its uses. For example, for me, when I, when I was, uh, I remember in classes when I need to answer the question, math class or history class, I needed to use the 
freaking neck voice. I cannot mm. use the diaphragm. It's gonna take five seconds longer. Mm. But now in these days, yeah, the neck voice is the default. Like it's okay. There's certain uses, but if specifically you want to sound better during your business calls, then you need to use the chest, mm. then the diaphragm. So that's the main purpose of this. If you're confused as the viewer, so can you just do that for another time? The last time, like inhale with your nose, three seconds. Hold it. Say your affirmations while blowing the air outside, just like a balloon. But you're speaking. When I speak, head stone in excitement. Okay. In the in specific case of Anand, there's like a non-usage of of blowing out the air properly because maybe it's because of the habits he's used to talking with the neck voice all the time mm. so i felt like there's a constriction of the air going out okay. so if you could just stretch a little bit more of your neck left right okay let go just let go of the stress okay forget it you are not your stress it's just some weights that you need to you need to Lift down. Okay. Just one more time. Like inhale. When I speak, heads turn in excitement. You don't need to blow it all out. Just like with the balloon exercise, you need to blow it little by little. No need to. If you, if it's a life or death situation, then yeah, blow it out as fast as you can. But this is training. The okay. more you sweat in your training, the less you bleed in battle. So let's have that in mind, guys. So yeah, inhale, and then blow it out. When I speak, head stone in excitement. Okay, based on the body language, I can see that when you inhale, you're you're upping the shoulders. That usually is a sign of not being able to use the lungs properly. So when you inhale, don't try to just inhale with your chest. So versus. Okay, because if you do this, it's going to tense up your neck, which, right. yeah. The other thing is I've got these armrests on my chair and it's kind of not adjustable. It's kind of high. So if I sit like that, my shoulders automatically like shrugged. So I'm trying to place them on the side right now, like not on the armrest. Mm -hmm. uh, do your best. I'm not telling you that you need to destroy your chair or anything, but yeah, just do your best. Try to not... This is forced breathing, by the way, guys, if you don't know. Forced breathing is when you, you when you breathe, you need to use other muscles, but usually you just need to use your lungs. So try to inhale again. So without... should I breathe in, you're saying the lungs, not the belly, right? Uh, in, in this specific case, I, I, I don't want to force you to breathe. Normally you would breathe till, in, till it reaches your belly, but it's a, we're in a beginner phase. I don't want to because i remembered when i first started forcing myself to breathe with the belly it kind of kind of my my chest kind of ached because it was not used to it so now just put it to your chest the air then if you can then yes use your belly but don't force it that is the number one key you can't force the change but you can guide the body for the change to occur okay okay i'll try one more time when i speak Head stone in excitement. Don't force the breathing, by the way. Don't like you're a Jordan Belfort kind of guy sleeping stuff. Or just relax, breathe. Imagine you're like in a beach, like you're inhaling the great view, the beach. Wow. I speak head stone in excitement. Did you hear or feel some difference between the first one with like without the air stuff? Did you I feel yeah i think i mean the last one i wasn't forcing the breath like that analogy of thinking of the beach really helped so it was more like a deep breath but wasn't like forced and i think it just came out a bit more naturally this time oh uh, yes by the way guys it's very important to breathe in yes it's your ammunition but just like a weapon you can't jack the damn ammunition you need to position it the right way in order to do that analogy in the air you need you don't need to force the air you can't force that like it, you're gonna tense up the body and it's not gonna work so you need to relax breathe in normally usually yoga people don't have any problems with this but 
Mm. Uh, most of the time, I remember when I didn't do meditation, like this was very hard. Like I can't breathe, like relax breathing. Like I'm always breathing, <laughs> like I'm going to go on diving and stuff. So remember that. So thank you for showing us that, Anand, that is that went over the ammunition part, but those are little of things that people may feel, but thanks to you, they were able to identify it. So have that in mind. Now let's go to the next step. Tip number dos, the power of pausing. Mm -hmm. So Anad has now learned the skill, initial skill of the air is your ammunition and to breathe in a relaxed way. So yes, he has learned that. Now we can amplify and sound more better during our business calls by using the power of pausing. You see this image? Yeah, it's kind of firearm stuff. Hope I don't de demonetize your stuff. It's, no, it's I think I think of, there's a bunch of gaming videos on YouTube that are not yeah. demonetized. So yeah, it's just Call of Duty stuff. Most of us think that when we need to speak, if we have an idea. We need to say it all at once. For example, what was your affirmation again, Anand? When I speak, headstone in excitement. Like most of the time, we need to communicate that, like I know to a chick or to a man, like you're, you're, you're trying to be alpha or something. Like breathe in. When I speak, head turns in heads turn in excitement. Like there's a little bit of power, but you can even do it better. And the way to do it better is by using the pause. Just like this metaphor of the guy, if you were going against, if you needed to hit someone, for example, in this case, it's a target. You can use the machine gun, like you have more ammunition, yes, but there's less precision. What we're trying to do in the analogy of speaking is, yes, we have the ammunition, which is the air. We can, and as you can see, I spoke, when head turns, in, when, my, when I speak, head turns in excitement, like I use the breath, but it's not effective. In order to hit the target, in this case, the audience or who you're talking to, to get your point across, what you can do other than the air is to use the power of pausing in the sense like this. When I speak, heads turn in excitement. I'm not telling you to use this all the time, like when you order to McDonald's or buy your donut. Please give me the glazed one. Like not all the time, but there are certain times when you need to communicate to the client. Like mm. when he tells you, I thought you just charge $500. Mm. Yeah, if you pause, you acknowledge, I'm sorry. We don't charge $500. We charge a little bit more than that. Well, to be honest, a bit more than that. Imagine that saying that to the client rather than saying this. So he or she tells you, oh, I just owe you $500. Well, well no, we, we, no, no, we charge more. We don't charge $500. We charge more than that, a little bit more than that. As you can see, you can feel the tension. You can feel the nervousness of me mm. speaking. Like this guy's kind of like, he wants the, sell, the sale. You can really... I didn't tell you that I wanted the sale, but you can feel it. Yes. So that is the importance. Yeah. When you're doing this one-on-one -on -one thing, mm. face to face, yeah, you can use body language like this. I think I the term that they use for this is like neediness or needy behavior. And people don't like that because then you're attached to the sale, right? You're like, you want that sale. So you're sounding desperate. Yes. That's a great point. And not like, yeah, wanting something is good, but not begging for it. Yes. Like you need something, but you need, you don't physically or you don't verbally beg, but your your communications, your body language, your voice, vocal tonality, your words. Hmm. Yes, you didn't say it. You, you didn't say the words of begging, like give. No, uh, we don't charge by mouth, but I need the money. You don't need to physically say that, but people are smart, especially in today's society. They can hear your voice. Mm -hmm. They can see your body language. But now your body language is cut. Your communication with your body is cut. Now you need to rely on your number one skill during your voice, during your business calls. 
which is mm -hmm. your voice. So have that in mind, have the sniper mentality of getting your point across. Yes, you can use the machine gun when you, there's a lot of ideas like blah, 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 but there are certain times when you need to pause. Breathe, imagine the beach, then take, then say your point. Breathe the beach, <laughs> sounds kind of sounds awkward. Like the beach, like the sand, not the other kind of beach. <laughs> beach. Or the, uh, I guess the ocean, imagine the ocean air, right? Ocean yeah. breeze or something. Yeah, ocean breeze. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm not gonna get demonetized. Thank you, Anand. <laughs> yeah. So imagine the ocean. You breathe in. Then you say your point. And the thing is, when you say it from a, from this point, like the the breathing and the pausing, it's more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And when you say something more relaxed, more firm, the client or the person you're talking to. Will trust you more which is very important because you can't shake his hand or her hand mm. you're shaking her or him virtually with your voice so mm. this thing is very important so that's why anad was able to get some really high quality audio gear which is important but now it's time to upgrade also your voice which you cannot buy unfortunately but you can train it fortunately and sh should I breathe in between these pauses or just hold my breath? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, for me personally, I learned how to, I was, I, was, I am able to not breathe during my pauses, but sometimes I need to. Hmm. When you feel that like you're running out of breath, then yeah, breathe. But in your case, as a beginner and for our audience, for our viewers, yeah, try to breathe in first phase, then talk, breathe in again, then talk. Okay, just one last time before we go to the next tip, we're going to improve this. By the way, guys, this is going to be a long journey. We're just going to document it just to show you that you don't need to be born with that perfect, confident voice. You can develop it. It's going to, it's going to particularly, sometimes it's going to drive you crazy because you want fast results, but it's not going to be fast. It's going to be slow, steady, but surely. Remember that. Okay, so uh, one last time. Breathing in Anand. When I speak, headstone in excitement. I mean, I mean, for me personally, objectively speaking, if someone went, he compared the first thing you said in uh, this last version, I think it's better. So we're going to work on that throughout the weeks. So guys, as you can see, even though you have the tips, if you don't involve yourself, yeah, you're just, you just know the stuff. But by involving yourself, by doing these exercises personally, mm. you're going to improve. It's not going to be a from zero to hero. It's going to be zero to becoming a hero. So there's the second phase. So before you master it, it's going to take some time. So have that in mind. Like this kindly read this a nod like same. Like you normally would do without pausing, okay. not the breath, etc. Just normal. Okay, so how I would yeah normally read it is, I am outgoing and confident. I share my love with the world. I am relaxed, kind, peaceful, and confident. <laughs> Every day my confidence is growing. I am succeeding in life. Okay, I mean, if we needed to read something then yeah, we read it like that. But if we need to read and communicate the feelings of outgoing, confident, share my love with the world, mm. it requires another type of voice. Mm. So as you can hear, I broke it down. If you don't have any affirmation, guys, you can use this like a screenshot. Okay, so uh, now, Anad, apply what you learn: the ocean breathing and the pausing. To facilitate this, I broke down the words below. I am going, I am outgoing, and confident. Mm. Pause. I share my love with the world. Pause. So kindly do that so we can apply what we just learned so we can skill up faster. Okay. I am out. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Uh, I From what, I, I, what I've seen, be more relaxed like mm. stretch the neck if you need to 
Actually, I'll see if I'll, I'll just remove my jacket. Maybe that might help. Just open up a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, in the next sessions, we're gonna. I'm gonna require you to wear what you use. What wear what you usually wear during your Zoom call. So, because for example, this without yeah. the jacket, yeah. I can be more relaxed. Right. But it's not professional, so that's why I always wear a suit. No, it makes but, a difference. Yeah, but for training purposes, you can actually just go on your t-shirt or be naked, so it's okay. <laughs> just wear underwear and don't get filmed. <laughs> or turn go off ahead. the camera. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, ocean breathing, relax, let's stretch. If you don't know, uh, stretch a little bit. Left, right, circular motion. Uh, if you don't know, guys, every time you're like sitting down or standing up, your neck is getting tense. Hmm. So it's very important to stretch a little bit. It is one of the most stressed parts in your body. So, okay. Okay, practice what you just learned, Anand. Ocean breathing, pausing, and then yeah, balloon breathing. <coughs> ah, balloon exhaling, by the words. I am outgoing and confident. I share my love with the world. I am relaxed, <coughs> kind, peaceful, and confident. Every day, my confidence is growing. I am succeeding in life. Okay, now we're gonna double, uh, I mean, we're gonna increase the speed just like when you watch YouTube videos. Mm. This is speed one with the pausing. Now we're gonna go to speed 1.25 in the sense from like this, I am outgoing and confident. From that, we're gonna increase it a little bit. I am outgoing and confident. So you sound more human. Like yeah. the pausing is great in training, but when you need to communicate, yeah, pause. But don't pause for too long or else you're going to lose the guy or girl like what the <laughs> attention span now it used to be 60 minutes then it became 30 minutes now it's just four seconds so uh, i highly recommend you don't pause for more than four seconds during your calls so now try inhale again and and try to go slightly faster so from i am outgoing one two three four and confident from four seconds pause you're going to two seconds like yeah. i am outgoing and confident but do i, I share... breathe in every time yeah you can yeah you can breathe rather than breathing for four seconds you breathe two seconds oh what if i okay i got it for level one uh maybe i'm i'm a little bit biased here because i i, I didn't have that amount of air i couldn't do that when i first started so Maybe yeah. you, you're more advanced. You don't stutter. You don't. Uh, you don't. You can breathe. You, you can talk more with lower amounts of breath. So great for you. Yeah. For beginners, I recommend. Yeah. Pausing, then breathing. Pausing, breathing. Speak. Yeah. Speak. Pause. Breathe. And go again. In this case of Anand, he's a little bit more advanced because I don't know. He has done more than one thousand videos on YouTube. So. He has more I've, air. I've been doing some Wim Hof breathing re lately. Oh, so. okay. I have I do them sometimes, like maybe twice a week also. So that's a great point. Like, and I've really been working out as well regularly. So maybe you know, if my cardio and my fitness is up, you know, I do like weight training every day, and also I walk for an hour every day. So, so possibly because of that, my lung capacity has increased. Yeah, yeah. That, Kindly do it again. Maybe this is the last time. Okay. I am outgoing and confident. I share my love with the world. I am relaxed, kind, peaceful, and confident. Every day, my confidence is growing. I am succeeding in life okay uh, analysis from an objective point of view 
there's more power at the beginning yes mm. at the end it's kind of losing uh what i also observed this is not one of the tips but in a personal case of anon i can see that the mouth is not moving much uh which is also an issue when i saw some asian chinese or mandarin speakers native they don't open their mouth they, they talk like this like it's very efficient you can talk a lot you can say a lot with this type of mouthpiece yeah but if, if you want to communicate properly i'm sorry to say to you but you need to use also these muscles right here like i i can say i am outgoing and confident and share my love with the world it's fast but by doing i am outgoing and confident i share my love with the world as yeah. you can see i'm moving a little bit of my muscles this was also my sticking point at first because i have a small mouth like it's smaller than almost small as my nose like usually yeah. the mouth is like this so this took me a little bit of time but fortunately anad has a slightly bigger mouth like more proportional <laughs> mouth than myself so use your gifts this has been a gift to you whatever religion you have you were born with your mouth so use your assets properly now i'm optimizing my assets they're not the best but you can use what you have remember that you are enough we're just optimizing what you have so remember that and not just do it last time but more moving like i am outgoing rather than i am outgoing i yeah. am outgoing it's gonna take a little bit more of time to say yeah. words but you're gonna be able to say it properly okay so kindly do it i am outgoing and confident i uh, share don't the breathing don't forget the breathing yeah. that's only issue okay again yes. breathing the ocean i am outgoing and confident i share my love with the world i am relaxed kind peaceful and confident every day my confidence is growing i am succeeding in life okay just uh, to break that down as you can see what happened when he moved a little bit more of his mouth muscles first of all if you didn't notice it his volume increase that is because when you speak like this the air gets focused like this but if you speak with your mouth there's more volume so it's a byproduct yes you're going to sound more clear but you're going to also have some volume so it's a double edge positive thing so use the mouth use stretch it out in anad's case he's good with numbers he's good with the analytic stuff he's every he has he's very knowledgeable the only thing missing now is to give this knowledge to the world by using this this is your bridge to the world mm. and the message is being bought through your audience or your guy or girl with your voice so we're gonna cover this we're gonna probably do more practice sessions with this mm. in coming videos but anad did you hear yourself saying things better to me? yeah i think the especially the mouth 100 made a big difference and i think you're right because even as a kid i used to people used to I, I don't think it's a language thing or anything because even for when i grew up in india people used to ask me to repeat myself all the time or some, some, sometimes yeah just open your mouth right what did you say oh, excuse me uh, another practice get involved while saying this stuff okay. for our viewers practice inhaling yeah don't you know need to inhale for five seconds and go to the beach like yeah inhale <laughs> Pause if you need to, so we can practice it. It's right. this is not just training sake. This is for battle in the sense. This is for life. So yeah, it's gonna be hard, but be conscious when you communicate. Breathe in, expand properly. Use the mouth muscles. Yeah, tell your story with this things in mind. Okay, so so even when I was a kid, people used to ask me to repeat myself all the time and they even told me what i mean can you open your mouth a little bit 
like they would always tell me and i i noticed that I, so as you saw i don't really have a small mouth but maybe it just feels that way yes uh the thing is uh, there's this concept of bioenergetics in the sense there's the muscle armoring in this case your muscle armoring is in the neck in the mouth for me personally i had this issue also like they were telling me to can you say again what you said earlier like because i wasn't using my gifts my assets mm. yeah you can buy a suit you can buy a tie you can buy the best mic $30,000 mic studio but this is something that you were born with unless you get surgery or to get better you get surgery or you maximize what you have for me it's very difficult to speak because i have a very small mouth and for a couple of years i was blaming my my physiology like i was oh, i was small mouth i can talk properly like but then when i realized that just like a car yeah I can't buy the best car in the world but I can optimize my current car I can change the oil I can have it high, uh, painted I check the engine the coolant I can optimize everything that I have sometimes it's also for the audience sometimes you need to let go of who you think you were mm. or you are to develop this new identity so that's why sometimes yeah the technical works technical tips tricks works but unless you change this mindset of your yeah like for example me i'm not enough like i have a small voice like uh, asians usually don't have like a cool voice but by training hmm. you can optimize stuff so remember that you are enough so we just remember that so thank you for sharing that story enough let's go to yeah. the last so awesome. you know, tip that's a great message by the way Yeah, it's uh it's not just for my audience, it's also for me because sometimes I forget it. So every time I remember it, I say it out loud. In this case it was I I write it down in my journal like you are enough like optimize what you have. Yeah, I don't have the fancy suit, but I have a suit so I use it. I have I don't have the golden voice, but I have a voice. So I can use optimize. It's enough. Mm. Just need to optimize it. So remember that guys or girls Step number three: Hum in your free time. So yes, mm. you know the ocean breathing, the relaxed breathing. It's your ammunition. Mm. Now you can talk by pausing. Also, you have those two things. And yes, so we also added a a complementary tip, which is the moving out the mouth more, stretching mm. it a little bit more, so you can. optimize how you speak the volume and also the words right so the next part is how rather than like training yourself every single time like sometimes for example when i remember when i learned this this tip from my coach uh i used to do singing classes etc and also i did some training from a voice coach she taught me that you can't really stretch all the time you can you can't do this when you're like walking on the street right you you, you can't do the adore you can't do all that stuff while outside mm. but to optimize the time you can hum you hum mm. i can see mm. we go deeper mm. Mm. level 1 you hum here by humming you actually feel better it's scientifically proven that you will feel You become in a you'll have a better mood and it's also relaxing the tenseness because just like a rock mm-hmm. yeah you can break it but if you put the rock near a stream it's a vibration it, it's gonna break eventually so rather than hammering your freaking neck getting surgery use the metaphor of humming which is the ocean this is all stones here and the only way to break it down is by humming Mm, yeah do the stretches but when you're going out doing your workout outside if you're doing 75 day hard just like an ad there's a link in the description to check it out uh, you can hum mm. by humming you're actually not just relaxing but you can also feel that at a certain level you can also hum and reach your diaphragm like by humming like from the neck hum 
Mm. You can go deeper. As you can see, when I go deeper, it automatically gives me that relaxed voice. Like, I don't speak like this. When I wake up, I usually speak like, hey, what's up? Mm. I want some oatmeal. Like, but when you relax by humming, mm, you go to the chest, you hum more, mm, you go to the diaphragm. Like, I, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a difference. Mm. Like, mm. So that's what I'm saying. You don't need to get the surgery stuff. Like, there's a surgery actually to make your vocal cords more thicker. Oh, yeah. So it sounds more deeper. You can get testosterone, but let's not go to that route unless you really need it. We can optimize by doing humming. But, but first of all, to make it practical, why do we need to hum? It's a metaphor. As I said before, you are enough. You have the engine. In this case, the guy in the picture is putting, changing the oil, optimizing the coolant. There's a guy checking if there's something broken. It's the same thing. Your body, your lungs, your vocal cords, it's all an engine. And you can't, unfortunately, you cannot drink something like to put the oil, coolant to optimize. What you can do is, yes, do the stretches for the muscle. Mm. but also hum mm. Mm. can you hum uh, another mm -hmm. hum mm. Mm. Put, put the put your hands on your neck and put one on your chest mm. Mm. and hum mm. Mm. try humming and making the vibration go to your chest okay like, mm. Mm. Where's the vibration now? You can it, just stop with your hand. I think it's uh, maybe not all the way to the chest, but somewhere in between. Okay, that's great. Yeah, mm. usually, I uh, mean, I think I remember it took me like three months of practice just to go from here to here. Then sometimes, not always, I can go here with the hum. Sometimes you can go, you can feel it in a move away to your feet. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it sometimes happened with me, but yeah, hum. Um, you can uh, if you have some songs in mind, like yeah. Mm, 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 yeah when you work out, yeah, usually I I do that in my free time when I when I work out. Actually, I, I do that quite a bit, actually, but then I don't focus on, I just do it because, because, you know, I play music and for me, at least, I don't know about you. Uh, uh, Anand, remember, get involved, practice what you just learned. This is not right. just for Anand, it's also for you. After watching the video, try to do one tip per week. In, in case of Anand, it's, it requires, uh, we need to do it fast, so that's why I'm I'm slightly forcing him to practice all three things at once because he really needs it because he has the studio equipment, mm. the nice suits, the knowledge, knowledge, but he needs the voice. So that's why I'm forcing him to like, hey, remember, remember the training. So whenever I'm hearing a song in my head, I tend to hum it quite often, but I don't really focus on like where I'm humming from. I just hum like without focusing on you know bringing it lower i just hum just normally as i would but now that you mentioned it i'm gonna have to pay more attention to it okay great great use great use of pauses i he applied the pauses while you're communicating right now the breath yeah you don't need to yeah i think you were able to breathe without doing deep breaths so mm. it's okay great Great communication, by the way. Rather than when we first started the video, mm. the difference. So great job at that. Yeah, you can use the humming. You can tune it with whatever music you have in your mind. Mm. Just try to focus from going here to here. That's level one. Level one, level two. And once you can go, go deeper. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you... Can you hum for the last time, like your neck? Try to go to your chest. That's you. Mm. 
Hey, can you do it again? Sure. Trying to go with your humming with your chest. Okay, great. Uh, try saying something like try saying your affirmation after humming. When I speak, heads turn in excitement. Okay, I personally communicate with Anand on a weekly basis, sometimes twice a week. This is a great improvement. Like, like the voice, the volume, the clarity. He has improved a lot. So guys, practice these three things. Get involved, just like Benjamin Franklin said. So let's do a quick recap. Like, like for those who are, we went all over the place. Yes, we went a little bit more detailed in the case of Anand. But for you, I want you to take this at home. Air is your main ammunition. Yeah, the air. Remember that. Mm. Your body is your firearms and you're trying to say something or try to hit a target. You say it with the air. So remember the air. Second one is the power of pausing. You can't just say blah, 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 blah. You can say blah, blah, blah. Breathe. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. That sounds more powerful, more authoritative, and not just like a machine gun. So remember sniper mentality with the pausing. You can breathe while you pause. So you can put, you can practice tip number one and tip number two easily. Number three was hum in your free time. Mm -hmm. This relaxes the vocal cords, the neck, and it also gives you a reminder to go deeper with your voice. So just remember those three things, my friend. Thank you, Anad. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more tips and tricks to improve your communication skills. Yeah, guys, for, make sure to subscribe to John's channel. Uh, if you're going to post this on our channel, I'll leave a link down in the description below and uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, uh, get, uh anad get involved yes uh, do it again as you can see guys even though you know what to do it's the habits and by breaking the habits one by one you can improve your voice anything your eating habits in this case it's more focused on the voice so anad repeat what you just said but use all the techniques so it okay. becomes personal experience and you're gonna bring this forever okay so guys make sure to subscribe to john's channel for more tips like this uh john creates some great content on his channel regarding speaking i've been subscribed for a really long time and john yeah thank you so much for this lesson and i know i mean there's a long way to go but i'm sure we're gonna be working together we're gonna be focusing on just getting better every single day. Just getting better over time. Okay, that, that sounds better than the first one. So great job. <laughs> well, we need to practice a little bit more. We need to break those habits. Just like me. When I, when I remember like this journey started like six years before I consciously mm. gave, it some, gave some time to it. Like the practice. Like it's going to take some time. But the only thing I can promise you, it's not going to take you six years like what happened to me. I'm going to distill it. I'm going to take out all the crap because there's a lot of crap advice out there. Mm. I'm going to distill it. It's going to be probably going to take you six to one year just to make that permanent change. Remember that you can choose to do it on your own six years, maybe 10 years. I remember even my history teacher, she, she's so intelligent, etc. but she speaks too fast, an easily voice, so nobody listened to her. Even though she spent a lot of money for her education, nobody listens to her when I remember in our classes. So it's not just by knowing something, it's also by how you say it. So remember that, guys. So Absolutely. as my, my parting message for you, as always, your communication is within your control and power. Remember that. 
your communication is within your control, not the mic, not the suit, not your internet connection, but well, sometimes it's within your control. The power is in you. Remember your voice. So good luck and I'll see you in the next video, mate. Thank you very much, Anad, for coming here, for being vulnerable. I know I remember when I first, first started taking some classes, like I was shy. Like I didn't want anybody to know that I was working on my voice. Like, so thank you for being here and being vulnerable and actually getting yourself involved. So follow that, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.